26th, 2022, about 8.30 a.m. Central Time with your morning flash update. Let me start off by wishing all of our Jewish viewers a happy new year. Obviously, beginning of the holiday. Volume is a bit lighter today, you'll notice, in some of the markets because uh, it is one of the holy days so the Jewish people will go to their synagogues today. So let's talk about what happened. If you come over to the British pound, this is not a misprint. You got down to 103.92. It was a complete washout. You're actually higher on the day. The market is now pricing in that in the pound, uh, the market thinks that the Bank of England will move by November 175 basis points. You heard me. I mean, we worry about 75 basis points if their market is right. And just because the market's pricing it in doesn't mean it's right. That's what they think the Bank of England's going to do in order to counter these measures that Parliament has taken with the cutting of taxes, uh, the additional spending that will be going on, capping of uh, what you pay for uh, energy. It's just an awful lot. Where's that money going to come from? You're getting a very large turnaround in the energies. Y yes, this is a 200-point turn already here, as you can see in those. But you are down in the natural gas still. And part of that has to do with where the storm looks like it's going to go. Uh, Ian, I guess it's called. It'll be a Category 4. So far, it doesn't look like it's going to do any damage to the offshore rigs, the oil, the gas, and things of that nature. So that's putting a little bit of pressure on that. Notice that interest rates just continue to climb. Nothing changes there. Now, I want to get to the stock indices, but I want to tell you. If you go to our website at irapstein.com and you go to market research and you look right over here, you're going to see I just put up a special report on stock indices. They're only up three days. I talk about where I think the market's going to get its bounce from. This is timely as can be. It's, why it's only up three days. What I think will happen after the bounce and where it takes you. So if you like my special reports, this is the first one of the new season. I told you I do them regularly, holding more and more webinars. That's all happening right now. As I look at it, this is the uh, kickoff of my season. So pay attention to that. The next thing that we want to look at is the news of the day. So the Chicago Federal Reserve's August business activity index came out flat. Now, July's was up 0.29, so that's a slippage. The three-month moving average, well, that came up a little bit when you look at the, the May, June, July numbers. That, that's really the key there. The Texas uh, manufacturing outlook comes out at 930. The Federal Reserve has a number of their presidents now, and this is all week long. You're going to see different members of the Fed out talking what they're doing. And the British pound, of course, fell. Italy has a new government from the looks of it. Uh, I doubt they're going to be radically different, and that's because they need the money so bad from the European Union. But when we take a look and we come over here and we go to the marketplace, you were down hard early on at 36.71. You've come back in the uh, S&P, the bot unchanged. You were down 200 points lower than this in the Dow. You in the NASDAQ were down 200 points almost lower than this and about 30 points lower in the Russell. So you are getting a bounce from some key areas called Bollinger Bands. I want you to look at them. I show you the daily and the weekly if you go and you go to our website at irapstein.com. It's all very simple. Just do that under the word market research. Away you go. I'm Ira. You have yourself a great day. I will talk to you all at the end of the day with your market wrap-ups. Take care.